Three necks, neck. Well, that is too short to be serious. Good morning, everybody. You know, sometimes things just don't work out perfectly. And here we are where things are not working out perfectly. Um, now, you know, you might be thinking, okay, well, you're going to be a little bit different at least, right? Because uh, I know most reviewers, you know, with a, a good eye, with a golden eye that I have, I can tell you what two items are going to be the first two that reviewers are going to jump on at Dunkin'. Cake batter, the most obvious. And if they're going to pair it with something, well, it's pretty clear they're going to pair it with the new cornbread donut. Well, I went to the Dunkin' that's usually out of supplies, and I didn't see it, and I assumed, okay, they don't have it. I left. I rolled up here to the Dunkin' that usually has everything. Asked them, do you have the cornbread donut? They said, not yet. So, guess what we're not reviewing today? You guessed it! Cornbread donut! And I skipped my usual breakfast YouTube routine of eating crumble cookie pieces because I thought I was going to indulge in a a, uh, a nice sweet cornbread donut my heart is broken I'm shattered right now I'm in shambles but we'll, we'll do it with the iced sunrise batch that's fine we'll eat that with that at least the sunrise batch isn't quite as sweet you know if I just get straight up iced so then the cornbread with its little bit of sweetness, hopefully, kind of pairs with it. But we're not pairing it with the uh, the cake batter latte, ice latte. We're pairing it with the, the pesto, uh, tomato pesto grilled cheese thing. So, yeah. Deal with it. Just like I am. So it's like, it's got a pesto, you know, a pesto. I don't even know. I'm, I'm at loss for words, but it's... It's a pe pesto mixture and tomato, the si sun-dried tomatoes, cheese, and sourdough. Um, I don't even have a good grip on this thing. It's sliding out of my hand. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I hate this. Ooh, and I'm getting stuff all over me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not, a good, not a good start to my day, Duncan. Oh, and they didn't even give me colorful sprinkles, guys. Come on. Right, you know, I don't mean to rain on anybody's parade today, but that's the kind of attitude I'm in. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start with the cake batter, and I just wasted a bunch of your time. I'm so sorry, so sorry, sorry, sorry. My morning got ruined. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Um, but I mean, we're gonna we're gonna change it up. We're gonna be different. So, anyways, please subscribe, like, comment, share this video. Check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack. Okay. And yeah, so it's got chocolate syrup, supposed to be having sprinkles. What really matters is how it tastes. Do we get cake batter flavor? So let's try it. Hmm. For once, their coffee flavor strong. It's very sneaky. Very sneaky. It's not loud. It's kind of like... It's almost reminded me like a vanilla mocha. Because of the chocolate stripping in here. I'm just not... To me, I'm not getting that cake batter flavor. Like, usually it hits me in the face. This is more like a vanilla latte than anything. It's good, but I don't know. It's like I've run into a streak of things just not quite hitting the mark this week. I know I can taste everything fine. Like I'm telling you what I'm tasting here. I taste uh, actually a bold coffee flavor, which I don't usually get with the Dunkin' Lattes. I get a good mixture of vanilla and a little bit of chocolate. And I know it's a, they make a specific syrup for this. Like, there's no doubt about that. And I think I can very sneakily taste it. But the coffee is strong enough to where it kind of counter-reacts with the 
the notes of cake batter. So right now I'm sitting here, I like it, but I just think it's kind of weak. I, I can taste it in the undertones, but to me it's weak. So I'm gonna say seven out of ten. That's the least. I, that's the least I can do um, because I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I like it, and absolutely, I'm very much. I'm just about to say I love it, but it just it's not resonating with cake batter for me. So now I know the picture I took. You you, you might think that's mold, but no, that's the pester the pesto um, concoction they've got. I can't even think of how to say it. But this thing is drippy. It's like the pesto is just very juicy. So let's just go ahead and eat this and tell you how it is. I don't usually like their sourdough, so I know it's not going to be great but I, in my eyes, but it's got some good ingredients. So let's go ahead and try it. It's like it's raining pesto juice from a sandwich and actually this I like this I like the, the taste of the sandwich oh my goodness I don't like how it's falling apart but I do like the taste mm. that's pretty good But you know, last time that I had sun-dried tomato thing with from Duncan, it was good. So I shouldn't be so surprised. But mm. the addition of cheese really kind of completes it. It's like cheese toast with pesto and sun-dried tomato, but it's two slices, and it's sandwiched. That's a genuinely good sandwich. And it's hearty. The flavor is hearty. The, the ingredients are hearty. It's good for you. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. It's like eating a healthier pizza. Mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I know I'm about to overhype this one, but I'm gonna give it a nine. Just because I've had sandwiches that are, well, nah, eight and a half. Just because their sourdough's not top notch. The 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 pesto and the tomato are really good. The cheese not top notch, but when you put it all together, it's really good. I've just had so many sandwiches in my life, so many breakfast sandwiches and such. That there are things out there that are way better. But this really comes together in a harmonious concoction that you should try. So does it pair well with the cake batter? Absolutely. Absolutely does. Um, you may become overwhelmed if you do get the uh, cornbread donut, even though I'm sure it's less sweet. It does have a drizzle on it. I'm sure you could get overwhelmed with all the sugar. So it, it kind of works out in a way because you've got this very savory sandwich that's hearty paired with a very sugary drink. I think it works well. So overall, it's a, it's a very good breakfast to try out. Um, I know I didn't intend to have it this way, but you know, the world has other plans. I mean, you just got to roll with it. So I hope I didn't hold you too long. I know it's a longer video than I planned, but other than that, that is my review. I am sticking to it, and I will see y'all around. Yeah!